Welcome to a custom like a minifigure review from Fresh Stock Blocks. This is a new and upcoming company, and this is actually going to be their first minifigure. Of course, comes in the packaging is uh, their sticker, so this is their logo. They have been teasing a logo torso on their Instagram page, so that link will be down below. You can check out their pictures. So Fresh Stock Blocks, I like the sticker as well. It's a good logo. And then, of course, we do get a sticker for the minifig itself. So you can see Swift, Silent, and Melty, first FSBBN. This figure is printed by Citizen Brick. I would like to note that. Um, you can see the figure right here. So uh, like I said, he is a s'more minifigure. So here's Marshmallow Head. It's got some skewers through it and some fire. And I like this. It's like a little patch sticker. And this is a big sticker. I would like to say thank you so much to um, FSB because helping me with uh, all this, we um, we had some issues with uh, the delivery service, the mail service. Um, minifigure was lost or stolen. We don't really know the whole story, but they um, they did send the minifigure out to me again. So I greatly appreciate that. That's amazing. That's a big goat move, to be honest. So I will be supporting them forever because of that. So here is the minifigure. Uh, Sergeant S'more, that is his name. Like I said, he is printed by Citizen Brick, so it is a pad printed minifigure. It does say premium pad printer minifigure as well. I do like his little card. Of course, standard clamshell makes sense. On the back is their little stuff. If you'd like to pause it here, you can read about them, um, or you can check out their website, which of course will be Fresh Stock Blocks. Link will be down below. Uh, they did have a lot of misprint colors as well, which is really awesome. Didn't get one, but I was really interested in just the figure. But um, the Michigan colors were really cool. A lot of them sold out on the opening day. So let's get right into it. It does come with some accessories as well. I believe one is a marshmallow grenade. I forgot the, I think the other one's like a flamethrower type um, weapon. Uh, so clamshell packaging, like I said. You can see their standard card. I, like, I, I do like it. It's got his customizable background. You can see a little fire in the background. Here is his s'more grenade. So you can see... Marshmallow on a stick on fire, so you get the kind of the charred marshmallow, and then of course the fire part. And of course you can take the fire part out, it doesn't have to stay in if you don't want it. Nice little, it's like a German stick grenade reminds me of. And then he does come with, I think this is part of his flamethrower. I have to look at references pictures, because I forgot. Um, let me look really quick. Um, There we go. Oh, actually, the marshmallow part connects to him. So it looks like a grenade, but it actually does connect. Let me see if I can... So this part goes right here. So it's actually his flamethrower. I thought he I thought he had a grenade or something, but it actually is his flamethrower. So he's going to hold it like this. Here's the minifig. He's going to hold it like this, so you got to flip his one hand upside down. This is how their picture shows it. So you can see he's going to hold it like that. And then this part wraps around just like this, and then he grabs onto it like that. So you can see he's shooting, it's a flamethrower. Um, you can take it off, make it a stick grenade if you want. But you can see it does wrap around. So actually a very cool accessory. Let's take that out and show this amazing minifig. So here he is. Not a traditional normal size Lego head of course. This is on a 2x2 two two cylindrical block piece. And then it is surrounded by 2x2, two two, so this is a 2x2 two two flat brick. And this is a 2x2 two two smooth tile, or this is a 2x2 two two, uh, tile with studs, and this is a 2x2 two two smooth tile. So, of course, starting at his head, we are going to pop it off. This piece was, um, I'm assuming they drilled through it. It's pretty easy. Uh, luckily, the pieces have the centering, or the reverse stud on it, because you can put the drill right in and drill through it. It actually was drilled, it looks like it. It's got those round edges like that. Oh, that piece didn't have to be, or was it? It doesn't look like that piece was drilled out at all. I think with this brick, the head sits perfectly, so I don't think that was drilled out at all. So starting at his face, now you can see he does have some uh, beard stubble for a marshmallow. Could be a little bit of some crispy ends, turn a little bit golden brown. That's how I like my marshmallows. Has a gritted teeth look. Some different eye design, which I actually like from like standard Lego eye custom eyes. Does have a little like scuff or burnt mark right there. You can see some wrinkles around the eyes and bags under his eyes. Some nice eyebrows. Now the unique part is the top right here. So if you ever had graham crackers or a s'more in general, 
you've got the graham crackers, so they have the holes in them. They have a clean brake line down the center, so you could snap this in half and have two uh, s'mores or have one giant one. Would have been cool if they had maybe some melted chocolate printed on the head. Just a, just my idea. But I do like that this is actually a really unique head design. And you don't see this at all. Like no one's ever, I don't think anyone's ever done this before. Nothing on the back. So a very original idea. Coming on to the chest and torso of the minifig. You can see he's a tactical s'more. So he's got some pouches. He does have a strap with, it looks like, chocolate bars, which is really funny. Didn't notice that before. Does look like he has a marshmallow grenade right there. See some collars, some more pouches underneath all that. The zipper, or the buttons down the front. Coming down to the waist and legs. Nothing on the waist, but coming down further, he does have some two pockets on the upper thighs. And then down further, he does have some wrinkles in the pants, it looks like, near the knee area. And then to the side of the minifigure, nothing on the side, so no printing on the side of the arms or body. does have white hands to match his marshmallow gooeyness. Um, nothing else down the waist or side of the legs. Same as this side. And then to the back of the minifigure, we do have a collar of his outfit and then the strap that had the chocolate bars. Nothing on the back, just the strap. And then two wrinkle lines in his mid-back. That looks pretty standard. A lot of Lego bodies are like that when they have a strap going across. And then nothing else, so pretty much, you know, Citizen Brick doesn't always do the back of the legs. Could be a design thing, too. So we're going to pop his head back on now. And you can see. So it's actually a pretty stiff, it's a pretty stiff head. I actually do want to see without this piece how far the head sits down. So yeah, you can see without the 2x2 two two flat brick, the head does not sit all the way down because it's not drilled. But with this head, it gives enough space that the minifigure head does sit all the way down flush on the body, if you can see. It is flush. So an awesome, oh, this is 100% like an original idea, awesome minifig. It's like, I like the food design minifigs now. Um, we're going to give him his flamethrower. Or also German stick grenade in marshmallow form. That's what it reminds me of when it's separated. Pop this back on. He can grab on right there. And there we go. Sergeant S'more is ready for action. His ooey gooey form. Uh, I love this minifigure. Like I said, they had a lot of um, misprints, which was really cool. So I'm really excited to see what other minifigs they're going to come up with. Because this was really a solid first start minifig. And from this, looking at this, it should just go straight uphill from there. Because it's an original, unique idea. Maybe they'll do more for, uh, food items, but we'll see. So awesome minifigure for us. Link will be down below there. You can check out all the misprints as well. Um, awesome stickers that come in, in the packaging. Um, thank you, Fresh Stock Blocks. Uh, you guys are awesome. I really, again, greatly appreciate uh, with working everything out with the delivery service and everything. So you guys are awesome. Can't wait for the next minifigures. Check out all links down below. Be sure to leave a like if you haven't liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.